What's up guys, welcome to Movie and Point and spoiler talk of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. As always, before we begin, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button at the top, comment below on any of these videos, tell me what you think, you know, help us grow this movie emporium. Okay, so if you haven't seen the movie, guys, go check it out first. Don't check out this spoiler review until you do. Check out my non-spoiler review, which I hope is completely as spoiler free as I can make it. Um, so the idea behind Pokemon Detective Pikachu is very simple. It's a story about Tim Goodman justice smith character his father who owns the pikachu in this movie that talks he has been killed in a car crash and it's been caused by mewtwo mewtwo that you saw in the trailer and so they have to go on a like a kind of a quest to find out what happened why his father was killed who his father was killed by what the conspiracy is and they justice smith before he meets pikachu he finds, you know, Kent Watanabe's character, Yoshida, and he explains the whole scenario, what happens, but he's afraid to say anything because he wants Justice Smith to move on. He doesn't want him to, like, he doesn't want him to become part of this conspiracy of what's going on if he knows anything. So in the process of when Justice Smith's Tim Goodman's character finds Pikachu, he learns that he talks, he learns he has no memory, he has amnesia, and he has to figure out what is going on and they find this vial, or he, Justice, Justice Smith's Tim Goodman's character, he finds this vial, he opens it, it causes Pokemon to go insane. So it's a, like a anger management vial, I don't know, it's like an aggressive vial of a chemical. And this, basically, this chemical is being used in Pokemon tournaments, it's being used to manipulate the system, and it's all basically just coming down to a fact that there's... This character played by Bill Nighy, his son, they work for this company that helps to basically make Pokemon and their owners kind of coexist, but they've created the Pokemon, the chemical, or at least Bill Nighy says his son has created this chemical to cause, you know, corruption and, you know, dissonance and so on and so forth. And so when they're going on, they learn that, you know, Bill Nighy is technically the bad guy in this movie, but that's not going to happen yet because we got to learn about what happens to Mewtwo, which is a genetically experimented, you know, creature that has been combined from the Mew. And I don't know if this was in the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. I, th this, I think there's some similarities here, but you get the idea of what's going on. And this is where the story kind of falls apart because, then, and then you have Catherine Newton's character, who is a reporter, like I said, in the non-spoiler review, and she has figured out that there's something amiss, something wrong, something just out there that doesn't fit. And it all involves Henry Goodman's character, and who's Tim Goodman's father, like I said. And so they go to the factory. They figure out by kind of, if you've ever seen um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn with the video, uh, video uh, files, basically they are able to determine that Henry Goodman was responsible for getting the Mew to be transported to the factory, but we don't see who Henry Goodman is. It's really kind of suspicious. I started getting kind of inklings about what was going on halfway through this movie. And so they learned that Mew, Mewtwo was responsible, like I said, for the death of his father. And it sets him on a quest to just basically just everything that is going wrong, you know, the the Greninjas are being experimented on, so the ones you see in the trailer are actually attacking, but they're not they're not responsible for attacking. And then Pikachu gets her, and you know, they have to save him. That's when the Bulbasaur's pop, pop, um, pop, you know, pop up. And they, they Pikachu gets really hurt after a rock falls on him, and they take him and they find the Mewtwo. And the Mewtwo is explaining that he's not responsible for what happened to his father. He is basically an experimented problem that he is trying to get past and of course Mewtwo gets captured by what we think is Bill Nye's son they take him and find out Bill Nye is the bad guy that he's using it to basically he, he basically made the vial he made Mewtwo to basically combine the trainers and the Pokemon together so that they're one so he was right about wanting to to make them one but in the process of doing that, he has to control Mewtwo, so he has his little headset and so on and so forth. And so we get that story, and then, you know, we find out that Pikachu, you know, after he's being saved by Mewtwo, there's a whole battle sequence where, you know, it's kind of like Spider-Man in a way, and it's 
it's just a really cool moment where you know Pikachu finally because Pikachu because he has amnesia he doesn't know about how using his powers and because this is a PG movie you know you have P uh, Ryan Reynolds voice just kind of being dry witted and they're having good for back and forth and so once all the Pokemon are combined with their trainers Pikachu and Justin Smith had to figure out how to reverse the situation and what we think is Bill Nye's son is actually this woman who's played by Suki Waterhouse and she is a ditto well ditto apparently can you know at least in this movie it can turn it it's like a it can turn it into any character I don't know if it's like that in the actual Pokemon universe please correct me if I'm wrong on that but basically the ditto has been being used by Bill Nighy's, you know, character to basically corrupt the system to, you know, basically frame his son for all the things that are going to go down so he can look like the good guy. Well, once everything is said and done, the Mewtwo is let loose. Pikachu saves the day. Justice Smith saves the day. Everybody comes back to normal. And that's basically the storyline of the movie. You know, throughout the movie, we're getting cool moments of different Pokemon. Everybody has their own Pokemon. And so you see many Bulbasaurs, you see a couple Pikachus, you see all these characters. But the last thing that happens in this movie that Mewtwo basically was trying to help, he's, he was trying to help Harry Goodman because we find out that Pikachu and Harry Goodman were trying to save Mewtwo by getting him to escape. And then we get the full form of the video that we see in the, in the movie of the actual crash and we see that Mewtwo has combined Harry Goodman with Pikachu. So Pikachu is talking but they're the Henry Goodman and Pikachu are one of you know they're combined as which is what's going on in this movie. And we finally see who Henry Goodman is and it's Ryan Reynolds. Actual Ryan Reynolds in the life action form and it's kind of a cool reveal because Ryan Reynolds you know he, when he's playing Deadpool you see him there, but you don't see him. You don't like. Well, you would never think that he would be the character in the Pikachu. That that's the voice. That's the reason that Justice Smith can hear him because Mewtwo set out to make sure that Justice Smith, Tim Goodman, would find his father and find the Pikachu, and then all would be well with the world. So there you go. So at the very end of the movie, because Tim Goodman kind of resented his father because of what happened with his mother, and he left, and they finally came back. All is right with the world. Pikachu and. Harry New Goodman are once again together and then Tim Goodman decides to go with his father. So yeah, it's like I said, it's a basic story. There's a lot of plot holes. I think the characters are fun. I think the P the Pokemon are excellent in this movie. They're well realized and visualized, but it's just a fun movie. It's an entertaining movie. It's a movie that has a lot of fun with this premise and a lot of good vibes and a lot of good video game ish style musings to it. And I don't know, I'm sure the Detective Pikachu story in the video game was a lot different than this, but what Rob Letterman was doing, what the Pokemon company is doing, what all the writers are doing, they gave us a good video game movie. And like I said, it's a little cliche in the plot, but we can deal with that as long as it's a good, <laughs> as long as it's a good movie and it's entertaining, like I said. So, but there you go. That's my uh, spoiler review for De Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Thank you so much. Comment below what you think of the uh, review, what you think of the movie, and this one review. Tell me what your favorite part was. Like I said, my favorite part is the Bulbasaur. I love that character. I love what Jigglypuff, you know, Mr. Mime, all that good stuff. But otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top. Find out what's coming next for Movie Emporium. Also, check out these two videos. They're amazing. I think they're awesome. I think you'll enjoy them too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.